the about 35 lines from IIT, including very early, very late, with resistance to aphid and others, and uh, planted in greenhouse in uh, September, uh, November 19, uh, 2000, 2007, selected the aphid resistant lines and made crosses with the U.S. lines. So what we have here is a strip of U.S. lines which are being tried for their yield potential. And then in the middle we have the cross materials using the IIT aphid resistant lines. And toward the end we have multiplication of uh, some U.S. lines for seed. Now what you will see here is all of the U.S. lines are susceptible to aphid. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately this year has been very dry and it is very good for aphid. So we have a very heavy incidence of aphid. This has almost killed all the U.S. lines. But our segregating population, it has distinguished between the resistant and susceptible. So we are lucky in a way that we have got a season like this. And uh, so if we see here, the aphids, when there is a dry spell, aphids come from wherever they are breeding in the alternate host. And they will land on the cowpea plant. And then they start sucking the sap and reproducing. And they reproduce very fast. As you can see, the whole pods are covered with aphid just within... Uh, 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 10 days time and they, they start feeding from the leaf stage all the way to the pod stage and they not only mess up the growth and affect the eel but they also spread viruses so they are they are deadly and uh, to control them is to use some hard uh, chemicals uh, many of which are banned now so we are lucky that we have a resistant gene that will control them without making any sprays.